Daredevil Ukrainian farmers are donning helmets and bulletproof vests to plow vital fields near the front lines under barrages of indiscriminate Russian missiles. As the battle for Donbas rages in the second phase of the war, Zaporizhia is just miles from battle lines but contains vital fields supplying about a fifth of the world's high-grade wheat. Dot. Grad rockets began falling right next door to the Zaporizhia fields where contract farmer Yuri worked a week after the war started at the end of February. The nonchalant farmer now drives a tractor in a bulletproof vest and a ballistic helmet provided by his employer, Kitty says he is used to from time spent doing military service. Farmers in the surrounding fields are similarly gearing up in tactical armor to plow their fields as they make a concerted effort to sow the crops so vital to feeding millions. Dot. We go out, pass the checkpoints, get to work, drink tea and coffee, put on our vests and go. We fill up the gas tank, and then go to fields. If there is shelling, we pack up and go to the office, said Yuri, who gave only his first name. Oleksii, 43, described the Russian rocket attacks as scary but manageable, since they often occur at night. He explained that after an attack people check the fields, and if necessary call in experts to help remove rockets and debris. Ukraine is the world's fifth biggest exporter of wheat and in the top three for maize, barley and sunflower seeds. The lack of Ukrainian grain on world markets due to the war has been pushing up food prices around the world. Dot. Countries such as Egypt, the biggest importer of Ukrainian wheat last year, as well as Lebanon, Pakistan and others, get most of their wheat from Ukraine. The price of groceries in Britain is now increasing at its fastest rate in 11 years, adding an extra £271 to the amount average households will pay at the till this year as more shoppers switch to budget retailers Lidl and Aldi. Data from market researcher Cantor showed that overall grocery price inflation hit 5.9% this month in what is the fastest rise since December 2011 as the number of items on promotion at supermarkets decreased. Meanwhile, Russia's top diplomat has warned that NATO is now fighting a proxy war with Russia in Ukraine and there is a very serious risk the conflict could turn nuclear. Sergei Lavrov, speaking on Russian state TV last night, accused Western leaders of risking a third world war by supplying heavy weapons to Ukraine with the goal of wearing down the Russian army, a name he described as an illusion. Accusing NATO and its allies of attempting to bully Russia on the international stage, Lavrov said that tensions between East and West are now worse than during the Cuban Missile Crisis at the height of the Cold War. Asked directly about the possibility of a nuclear war, he replied, the risks are very significant. I do not want the danger to be artificially inflated, but, it is serious. Real. It cannot be underestimated. <laughs>